really really oh, go, if we're gonna do a fucking sumo thing you gotta go all out dude i gotta be able to like slap the gut and then watch it ripple that's gotta fucking be a thing man I, i'd rather not i'd rather you'd be in like a but, full body but, suit but you, but you want to see it so it's like you gotta see the whole thing i'm not well, saying like well, how, i'm not saying however, yes, however you gotta do it however you gotta figure it out in your fucking weird headspace you know if you want to be naked with boogie that's your fucking prerogative dude. I don't know, but this is your suggestion i'm just giving you what you want I, I, I don't want you to be naked. I, I told you it's explicit. You are the one insisting that you nah, want to be naked. No, if you want to do a sumo day. match, you got to do a sumo match a certain way or else it's going to be lame. Well, I mean, your content's already pretty lame, so. Well, oh, that, I, you know, we'll meet, of, we'll oh, meet. deflection, deflection, moving goalposts. Okay, let's move on. Let's oh, move on. What the fuck is this, like, leftist bullshit? Uh, deflection. Like, you fucking armchair deflection. psychologist. It is deflection. Dude. You fucking aren't. Well, you take one fucking introductory to psych class and you think you're a fucking psychologist. Shut the fuck up. I'm not a psychologist. I'm just an, a, I'm just pretty observant. It's pretty funny. No, you're just a fat retard. Uh, all right. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's move past this. What, what else do you want to say? All right. That, that was really all I had. You're just a fat fucking retard and Boogie's a fat fucking liar. Doesn't have okay. PTSD and he's threatening to kill himself every fucking time. Frank had, was, had every fucking right to go to his house after he threatened to kill him 800 fucking times. And you suck and you're fucking lying on Keem's name. Fuck you. And you suck. That's it. Okay. So that's it. Are you? Just, are you such? You're such a pussy, dude. Holy shit. No, you're I just. I just. I literally. Like, okay. Okay. I. I literally <laughs> don't oh, okay. care what you have to say, though. I don't know you. I don't know you. I have no connection to you. Yeah, you're just a pussy. I don't care about you. It. No, it's like you want to sit there, say your piece. By all means, you can say your fucking piece about it. I'm gonna laugh at you because it's ridiculous, and then you can leave. If you want to leave, you can leave. That's something well, I, I mean, I can sit here and call you a pussy all fucking day. Oh, I would sorry. rather you come up with a better argument, argument than that, but uh, you know, have, what what argument? You're, you're a fat pussy. Okay, that's your opinion. Yeah, a lot a of other people don't believe bitch. you, but that's fine. No, a lot of people do believe me. You're a fat eh, pussy. No, nah, that's fine. No, that, that's fine, dude. You're <laughs> such a beta, dude. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Why? Because you want me to get mad and fight you, dude? I don't know you. Yeah, yeah I literally do don't Let's care. Do it. Let's do I it. I don't care. You came in here and wanted me. That's fine. Uh, you know, it's, I got two kids and a dad bod. It fucking happens, you know? So it's called life. It's, no, called, it's called being a fat retard is what it is. Uh, do you have kids during a pandemic? Uh, you don't really go very well. It's, you get, what do you mean during a pandemic? You have all the time in the world to fucking work out and eat healthy. <laughs> you don't, again, do you, do you, how, how old are you? I'm, I'm curious. How old am I? Yeah. I'm 32. You're 32 years old. Okay. So you don't have kids. Who said that? Oh, I'm asking. You're kind of making it out to be like you have like you like you don't have kids. I'm asking if you have kids. I'm not telling you anything about me. You're a fat fuck. Well, I'm just asking an honest question. I mean, it, it, I by by your answer, I'm going to assume that you don't. I'm married. I have a family. Okay, so, well, you have a family, but if you're not answering yes or no on kids. I'm assuming a dog I'm not or talking a cat. About my kids on the internet. Ah. No, I don't. I'm, I don't I'm think. Really I don't think you have any before. kids. I don't think you have any kids. I don't, I don't think, think you have a cat. I think you have a cat. cat. I don't think you have an ounce of fucking testosterone in your body because you're a I've, fucking fat pussy. <laughs> Dude, I pumped out two kids in less than three years. Believe me. Oh, that doesn't mean I ain't firing blanks. I ain't firing blanks. No, your wife probably cheated on you, dude. Nah. Yeah. She doesn't go anywhere. We're fucking stuck together all the time. Jesus Uh Christ. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's such a lame argument. It's such you can't even Uh answer a simple question like, "Do you have a dog, a cat, or kids?" It's very simple, and you don't want to answer it. So you're deflecting. Once again, you're deflecting. You're moving goalposts. It's what you do. Well, this is your whole logic. Again, this, this is your whole like, logic. This fucking like armchair, fucking like dumb lib psychology bullshit. Oh my god! Dude. But you know what's really funny about it, dude? Is it's working because it's getting under your skin and it's triggering you. I, oh, I don't I'm care. Triggered. I'm I don't triggered. care. You're super oh, triggered right now. Triggered. Listen to yourself. Oh, you armchair triggered. lib psychologist. Nah, 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 nah. Answer a question. You're asking me questions. Answer a fucking question. Jesus I didn't Christ. ask you a single question. I just said you're a fat pussy. I didn't ask you a single question. And I said that you should, you should sumo wrestle fucking, uh, whatever the fat fuck liar is. Okay. So you want me to, su- okay. So you want me to sumo wrestle boogie, but you don't, but you want it to be in like, like the blow up fat suits. Is that it? No, you guys don't need it. You've got plenty of fucking masks. Cause you fucking both gorge yourself day in and day out. Okay. So you just want to, well, okay. So paint me a fucking picture. Like exactly what do you think about this would be? Cause I'm kind of curious about this one. So lay it out for me. Give me a solid picture here. Give me a, a, a play by play of how you'd want this whole thing to go. And generally what the overall reason for it would be like, how would we, what would be the, uh, the venue where to be like, you know, uh, was it Staples Center, Madison Square Garden, a fucking field in the woods? Like, would we put it on YouTube? Oh, you really, you really think you're pulling the Staples Center, dude? You really think you're pulling the fucking? I mean, Staples I, Center? I, you know, Come I'm not fuck Kobe, on, but fuck it. Come I'm on. not like, you know, I mean, we're talking. This is this is a this is a you know, a uh, hypothetical scenario. You could literally, it could literally be. It doesn't on the top have to be a hypothetical space. scenario. I think you should fucking do it. 
Yeah, but see, the thing is, Boogie, he's he's forty. He's he's in his mid forties. I'm in I'm in my late thirties. I he's way bigger than me. I'd be able to outmaneuver him easily. And so it's one of the. So So then, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid to do it? I'm not afraid to do it. I think it's just I find it to be I find it to be funny that you would suggest that. But then I'm also he's 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 bigger than me. Yeah, you're puss, dude. You're afraid. You're afraid to fucking sumo wrestle Boogie, dude. (laughs) I don't think he would sumo wrestle me. I think it'd be funny to like. You're saying he's afraid. Then is that what you're saying? Meh. Your words. That was your words. You're saying that he. You said he wouldn't. I said I don't think he would do it. You're afraid. You said then then he would be afraid, or that I'm saying he's afraid. You said that's what you said. You're like I don't think he'd fucking do it. I think he's scared. So which is it? I didn't say I think he's scared. I said I don't think he would do it. Those are your ad. Now you're putting words in my mouth. Why are you adding things to the conversation that don't need to be there? Oh my god, dude. Why do you? Why don't you think he'd do it? I mean, I don't both of your YouTube careers are like fucking tanking. So like, it'd be oh, good, he's got, it'd be good he, oh, did you, did you not hear him? He's got 250 grand in the bank, dude. I deliver fucking Uber eats, man. Shit. Oh, that's, it would be better for me than it would be for him. A hundred percent. But you deliver uh, Uber eats. That's so fucking fuck, pathetic, dude. Oh, I make like 30 bucks an hour. dude. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, man. Are you so kidding sad. me? Not really at oh. all, man. Fuck dude. It's great. I got to work my own schedule. I got to hang out with my kids more often. I don't got to deal with all the bullshit from YouTube. It's fucking nice. Oh, that sucks. Ah, not sucks, really. Dude. I've already, I've made I my feel, money on I YouTube. So, you know what? I feel so fucking bad for you, dude. <laughs> I'm cool with it, man. I think it's fun. I'm glad you're fucking cool with it. Cause man, if, if ever me, I'd fucking blow my brains out. <laughs> well, maybe one day you'll be in my situation and you'll have to make it. that choice. I, I will literally, I will literally never be in your situation ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever i promise you i promise oh, you oh yeah what's funny about that is you know you're i got about six years on you dude you'll you'll get there eventually you'll no I, I will never be enjoy. delivering fucking uber eats dude. Nah, you could, well you could do a lot of other <laughs> then things again, then again i don't fucking like lie about keem i don't fucking mass flag videos on youtube because i'm a fucking what did i lie about bitch. what i lie about i never said that i never said he flagged me or that he uh he's the one who swatted me yeah, I you're told, just like, it's just like such gay, like, you're like, oh, uh, Keemstar got in a fight with me today. I was hey, asked, uh, and then later, I was asked and then later, by the like, authorities. To clarify, dude, you're so gay. No, I was asked by the, by the officers that were taking the report as they were searching my home for potential bombs or my children strapped with bombs to their fucking neck, whatever it was that was called in. And they asked me if I'd gotten into a fight on the internet. I said, yes, here's with who they said, okay, they wrote it in their report. Then that report went to an actual detective who's on an FBI task force who then followed up with me. And I clarified my position to him. When I was asked that question about who I got into a fight with, I had just literally five minutes prior had a shotgun in my face and had the worst scare of my fucking life. So in that moment in time, this wasn't like a deliberate thing. I was being as truthful as I could in that moment. And later on, when I was able to then talk to the detective and go through the process of everything, then we had the conversation. I did not know about anything involving the FBI going to Keem's house because I don't talk to them. I haven't gotten an update in about three years. <clears throat> oh, so man. You want to sit there and say that I lied, but you can't even really come up with the fucking facts because you're listening to Keemstar, who is clearly manipulating them for his own fucking benefit which is i, tr- I trust him does. over you because you fucking flag videos like a homo and i uh, reported 13 yeah. sucks no you i mean okay i mean read tweets fucking whatever dude then why you don't know? you do it if it's so easy then why don't you fucking do it because there's other things i'd rather talk about than just oh, sitting there yeah. and, like, well, reading listen someone's tweets. listen to the fucking cope no oh, there's... Oh, anybody could do what keem's doing but anyone I just could choose, do what I just, keem's I just choose, doing I just wow not to really dude, just fucking cope Oh That's my God, man. Dope, oh my, I, I love that. they like, you act like Keemstar sitting there and going like, what did Jake Paul do today? It's such fucking high brain work. Oof. Oh, no wonder this conversation has been it. as bad as it maybe, is. Maybe your fucking YouTube channel wouldn't fucking tank them to fucking do it. Why don't you do it? And say, I don't care enough to do it. Like that fuck. <laughs> I am. Again, that's not even really an argument. What, uh, no, it, yeah, it's you don't not, have it's not an argument. Yeah, no, it's no. Not. Well, it's, it's clearly not an argument. You don't even have any good points to make. Fuck, and you're just like, oh, okay, I am. It's true. You don't have any points to make, man. You're just throwing out hyperbole and insults and nonsense, and you keep moving the goalposts and deflecting and everything else. Oh my god, I mean, oh, the gay terms, dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god, it's called knowledge. Yeah. Oh yeah, the master of fucking knowledge, Matt fucking Jarbo, who's oh. delivering fucking Uber Eats for a living. <laughs> Yeah, it master is what of it fucking is, man. knowledge. Master of fucking knowledge right here. Real real high yep. IQ genius. Oh yeah. It's yeah. fun. I like it. I'm glad you do, dude. I'm glad cool. you do. I'm glad that makes you fucking happy. You fucking pathetic fat piece of shit. 
I don't really give a shit what you have to fucking say because you've already destroyed your own argument time and time again. So. Oh yeah, destroyed my own argument. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, because yeah, all whatever. you've got you're is your fat. armchair psychology. I get and it. Dude. You took one fucking intro to psych class, and you think <laughs> oh, you're a fucking genius. That's your th- dude. third time making that claim. You want to try a new one? You want to try a different one? No, it's still applicable. anything. Still it's not applicable. applicable. Oh it's not yeah, applicable, totally, actually. totally still applicable. You're, you're just you're you're just like what um a lazy ass comedian who is trying to just repurpose the same joke, hoping that you'll be able to score a laugh. That's really all it is. I mean, you're just a bad comedian. I would say, yeah, you're you're trying to be funny. You're trying to posture. You don't have an argument. You're using lame. Oh, you should go fucking fat sumo each other because you're both retards. It's ridiculous. That's your that's your best joke so far since being on here. Nothing else you said has been fucking funny. Not even anything's been of value to fucking have a conversation over. Like, that's really about it. You bring nothing to the table. Wow! Period. Congrats! Congrats! You get so, you fi- you finally got it. Wow! Look, he can't, he got to the bottom of the. Oh, fucking good. Case. Well, because I like having a conversation here, which is why I do this whole fucking thing. So yeah, it's obviously not for the fucking money. It's why you're delivering fucking Uber Eats, dude. <laughs> Nobody fucking likes your shitty ass content. <laughs> and Again. I give you, I gave you a fucking million dollar idea. I give you a fucking million dollar idea, and you don't want to fucking do it because you're too scared of fucking buggy. I'm not again. You keep trying to imply things that aren't real. Like it's, you sound fucking scared, dude. I, I don't no, know. I'm confused because I'm wondering if you ate paint chips as a child. You just like, did you live oh, under wow. power lines? Hilarious, hilarious joke. Are you, just, are, you, are, you, are you just functionally stupid? Because you just keep saying the same shit over and over again. You ever heard of the definition of insanity? Saying the same things over and over and over again oh and hoping God, something will change. Most, that's the most Reddit fucking thing I've ever heard in my whole life, dude. Well, why don't you read me some more fucking quotes off of fucking our philosophy, dude? That's so I would so rather I would rather so get them good. from the fucking fortune cookie at Panda fucking Express. That'd be fucking funnier. Oh, that was a great joke, dude. <laughs> eh, funnier than literally anything else you've no. said. All right. I've wasted enough time on that guy. All right, Boogie, is that you? Yeah. Can you hey, what's me? up, man? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I don't know if you're paying attention or not. I'm just... I'm talking. Th- I'm talking I through this I'm thing. I'm gonna be very short because I've had a very long. Yeah, day. I'm. I'm just. T- I'm just talking it through, man. I'm just. No, I'm... no, you need to stop propagating that this is fake. Okay. You need to stop considering that idea. I do not think very little of you, but you must think very fucking little of me to think that I would fake something like this. I am not. It's not that I think little Don't of even, you. I, you shouldn't even be talking about that, Matt. You shouldn't even be talking about that. There's no, there's a zero percent, zero percent chance that I'm such a worthless piece of shit that I would fake something like this. There's a zero percent chance that anyone I fucking know, I don't even think a Nisian would fake something like this. Well, okay? I actually, you must think so fucking little of me. You must I don't, think so fucking little of me. You must I don't think, think so fucking I don't little think, of me. Boogie, I don't think little of you. I don't, not at all. That's then do why not I like, accuse me. Do not I'm not me accusing. I'm but like this. but when I when I when I approach these subjects, when I approach them from multitude multiple angles, I ask myself every available question that I possibly can. Well, I ask the, myself. You're, you're encouraging a lot of other people to I think know. it's fake, and this is my fucking life. Okay, this is I, my fine. fucking life. Okay, I Check apologize. Check the police blotter. Check the police. Blotter. I did. I did look at the police blotter. Do, do I looked you think, at. Do you do you think the fake? Do you think that the, the the police are going to lie for me, Matt? No, I don't. I don't know what the police. All I saw was that they responded to a call. It's a shooting, Matt. It's a shooting. And I, that's because why I was there asking. Was a shooting. Yes, because and that's why I was shooting, asking Matt, if it because was because there was a shooting, Matt. It's a shooting. You think the cops are going to lie for me, Matt? It's no, a the, shooting because I don't there was know. a fucking shooting. I Matt. never said that there wasn't a shot fired. I didn't. I'm not disagreeing with that notion. Fake. None of this is fake. Okay, this is my fucking life. That man is a sociopath. He came here to do me harm. I fired a gun in self-defense. That's the reality. I don't okay. know why the fuck you want to pretend it's fake. I don't know why the fuck you because want to propagate this the is, idea, but because do it, not do that. This is my life. This I understand is my that. Life. I get that. This but is when, my life. But when we talk I am about a real person, I, I know you are. Person. I've met you multiple times. I am times. a real person. This is my life. I've met you multiple I've times. I know this. a very long day. And, and you invite me to this live stream. I click on the link to listen to it. And I have to listen to you accuse me of being such a low piece of shit. I am that asking you think I questions. would fake something like that. You shouldn't ask questions like this. Hey, do you fuck your own mother? That's a question I could ask. No. Do you molest children, Matt? That's a question I could ask. No. But I would never think so little of you. I'm I would not never thinking think that so you little did. of you. So do I'm not asking... think so little of me to think that I would fake something like that. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. You are disgusting. I can't believe that I have backed you so many times. I can't believe I have supported you so many times and that you sit here and accuse me of faking something. I'm like not. This. I was actually, what I was getting to 
was like I was wondering I if there was going to you, be Matt. a setup. Were you not aware that I've been listening for the no, last five and I'm minutes? Sure, and I'm sure you have been. But I also was asking a question earlier that the train of thought was like, okay, what I'm wondering here is were you set up? Was there a play? Because the other players involved are involved in deep levels of trolling and manufacturing drama for a multitude of reasons. So when I look at the people that are involved, especially Keemstar being involved, and I know exactly what he's done to other people, and I'm wondering, were you played? Or I'm wondering if you were involved, and I'm and you are denying that. So cool. I appreciate that. But when I'm talking about the being played aspect of it, there is something about this that to me, as an objective-based individual who views everything as much as I possibly can, that something about this feels off. Well, here's I don't the know what it is. Truth. Here's the objective fucking truth. Okay. Okay. Three months ago, this sociopath decided I was his new target so that he could gain clout by trying to destroy me and destroy my life. Okay. He apparently was posting on that shitty little subreddit and was reading that every day and believes that I must be a child molester, believes that I must be a liar, believes that I'm some sort of womanizer, believes that I abused my ex wife. Okay. And decided to make it. Well, I don't believe any of those things. Like, well, but he does. Clearly, he does. That's what he said okay. on Keemstar's podcast last night. Okay. He believes that I got his YouTube channel shut down. He thinks I'm you. I never got he anyone's thinks, channel shut down. I, no, you had videos taken down, which I would never No, I do never. In a no, years. no videos had no, Like, I flagged them. Yes, videos went down. No. Well, I never flagged his channel. I never okay. fucking touched his channel. I have nothing to do with his channel, but he's convinced otherwise. So for for weeks now, he's posted on his Twitter every day. There will be a reckoning. You will pay. I'm coming to you. And then Saturday night, he showed up in my hometown and took a photo on Dixon Street, 3.4 miles from my home and tagged me in it and said, I'm here in your town, you fucking pussy. And I no, made I it abundantly. I, I made it. Uh, I made it abundantly clear that if he came here, I would use self-defense as I'm entitled to do. And when he came here today, I used self-defense. Now, I, I get that you might think there are masterminds behind this, that there is some sort of magic fucking voodoo bullshit. Just because you're so low that you might fake shit like this, just because I you're would, so low that you no, might lie about shit like this, I would does never not lie mean the rest this. of us are. Does and I'm not, not mean the rest of us are fine. Do not project that shit onto me. I'm not projecting not project it onto you. Onto I'm me. asking a question. And the more I, I get, look at it, I get that. I meant, I get that you're low enough to fix something like this. I get that. I'm not, I'm not I, boogie. I'm not for one. I have a job. I wouldn't fake anything like this for anything. I'm asking a question based upon something that is now a nationally trending news story. And I'm asking questions about it. So thank you for your time. I do really appreciate that. It's not that I'm my attempt here is not to slander you or propagate bullshit. I'm literally just talking this thing through my own mind because that's the way that I think. So and by I don't, the way, you're 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 pointing northwest. When I told you I fired west, I fired up into a tree to the west. You said okay, direct you, west, up into the west, direct and west, up as in the direction up, not north, Matt. Up. Uh, okay, I misread that statement uh, then. I apologize. I apologize. I west, misread it. And if you look directly west, if a bullet traveled even just 500 yards, it turns in it there is another neighborhood on the other side, but after that neighborhood, it's trees and fields and the rare few houses. And we know now because it doesn't take how how, how many hours do you think it takes for a bullet to land in a situation like that? Not long. We know it didn't come down on anybody's property, and we know it didn't come down on anybody because the police have never reported that. It's not in the blotter. Well, that's good. So nobody got hurt. That's good. I did, in fact, um, talk with the cops about this. They said, you're not supposed to fire a warning shot. They said, I should have fired at him if I was going to pull the trigger. And they said, I shouldn't have answered the door. They said, they, they said I should have just stayed indoors and called them. I agree. That's, that's what I'll do next time that he's here. And he and is coming back. Mark my words. Let's hope he doesn't. He let's will. Honest to God, hope he doesn't. It's he one will. of those. He got buried. He got he got bodied so bad today. There's no way he's going to stand for this. Well, that's why I, you probably came in later on. But I mentioned he, like the guy. This guy, from what I could tell, is part of the million dollar extreme crew. All right. Now you were called Gamergate back in the day, and there was that guy that uh, that Desert Beagle guy. Do you remember him? No. This I don't is keep a guy. Track of the stupid shit. Well, this was stupid enough to where it got bad. Remember Brianna Wu? Barely. You, you have to. Okay, she was the. Anyway, he was. He's doing running for Congress or something. Yeah, right? I, I, let's let's pray to God she doesn't get in. But yes, all right. And so back in the day, 
he was doing to her what Frank is doing to you. And it was all kayfabe. It was all over the top. This guy even wrecked his car one day driving on the Boston, like a Boston freeway, wrecked his car and did a whole video bit about how he was on his way to bring in his house. So that's when I look this thing up and I'm looking at what this guy is and I'm looking at what he does and I'm looking at who he's involved with. This is why I'm asking questions and it's not, and I'm sorry that if I, if you know, if you think I'm doubting you, I'm asking, I, I, I said, I hope it's not true. I hope this actually happened. I hope you're, you know, not in any danger because I do like you. I've known you for well, years. this did actually happen. Okay. I was in actual danger. This is my fucking life. Stop sowing seeds of fucking okay. doubt. You got it. Because it's it's hard enough being me. It's hard enough that the internet is convinced that I'm a pedophile. It's hard enough that the internet convinced that I I, I beat my ex wife. It's hard enough to 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 the internet's convinced that I womanize people and that I'm a drug addict and all of this other shit that you people propagate all the time. Okay, and I I, I can't fucking. It's hard enough living that life. Okay, because none of that shit's true. I get if I was it. in here, if I was in here beating children and, and fucking hookers and stuff, then sure, I'd be glad to pay for this shit. But it's hard enough having to pay for something I haven't done. The last fucking thing I want to pay for is pieces of shit like you telling people that I'm faking this, that I'm faking this, that I, I that I, I'm a willing participant in something so I didn't say dire that you that fake I am anything. a willing participant the question. in something so fucking dire. Please don't ask questions like that. Have some fucking integrity. No, because the thing is, if I hey, were, Matt, if I were, if I questions. Were, hey, Matt, here's some sure. questions ask. that 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 are absolutely not based in reality. Why do you rape babies? Oh, I'm just exploring it, Matt. I'm just exploring you raping children. Why? This is pretty fucking uncomfortable, isn't it? No, because I'm just, I'm waiting for you to finish because I see what you're trying to do. I'm waiting for you to finish. So when you accuse me of something so fucking vile, Matt, that's, it feels pretty shitty. But, okay. And that's perfectly fine. And I'm glad, and, and, I, and I understand why you feel that way. And I'm glad you feel that way, to be honest with you. But then look at this again from an outside perspective. When you look at it from the way that the media is, the, in this particular regard, the one angle of which it was basically put out there, which is through Keem's video. That's the one place where people are going to be going and getting all the info. And the way that, that that whole video segment that he put together is edited with music, with dramatic effect, uh, the way that it's cut together, it's presented in a way that is highly produced. And usually when, and this is based upon my training, my schooling and my, and my life and livelihood when I lived in Los Angeles was everything that's produced like that. There's something about it that is not real. So then All my right. question becomes and, what and now, part of and, this and now, and now let me show you my perspective. Okay. Okay. Because I, I'm not from Hollywood. I don't do any of that shit. I don't know about any of the shit you're talking about. I thought you and I were friends. I've backed you every step of the fucking way. And I didn't. I, I've literally never said a bad goddamn thing about you a single fucking time because I thought we were friends. And I guess we're not. If you think so fucking little of me to think that I would be a willing participant in something so vile. I and I'm, did not and I'm accuse hurt more you. about that. I'm hurt more about that. Yes, you were because I heard it. I heard it. You can't tell me you weren't. I'm hurt more about that. The fact that I have never made a joke at your expense that wasn't in the same room as you. I, I, the only time I've ever made a joke at your expense it was when we were together and I hugged you after I said it. No, I know that. And I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. What I'm asking Yes, here, you are. Well, I listened to it, man. I know because I was saying. You said that this is all fake. And, and in order for this to be fake, I would have to be a willing participant. No, and you I wouldn't no actually. Clue. You wouldn't no actually. Clue. Because there was other parts I was talking about as well. When the I, when gun I, is real. The gun I is, am real. I oh, am real. The and maybe, gun is real. Fine, I fine, real. fine. You fine. said, why wouldn't I have released the, the, the gun footage? Because it's a criminal investigation, you dipshit. But you still gave, but you gave Ralph the footage, you, or you gave Keemstar the footage with you shooting the gun anyway. Or, or did that come from Frank? Because you know, uh, if you're gonna if the, you're gonna the, release the, the footage that from from my pocket, the audio I from, gave to Keemstar. Yeah. So what? But the I'm audio not going to give him the ring footage. That's for the cops. So what you're gonna okay? So you give one piece of the puzzle, but not the full piece of the puzzle. And like, I mean, I get it, dude. I get it. I understand the position that you're in. I do fully understand that. And I do you I, think I, it I, might be because the cops advised me to not release any more footage? Do you think that might be why? Do yeah. you think because they no, told I'm me pretty, to stop releasing yes. footage because it's a criminal investigation? You I, think that might be why? But let me ask you this. Okay. But did you, the footage that I saw tonight on a Ralph show oh, had geez. you talking to the cops? Yeah. So in that moment, 
you were then told by the police. Probably I wasn't at that told point. by the police until they arrived here and had already sent footage to Keemstar and had already sent footage to uh, uh, Philip DeFranco. And I had, I, I wanted so this what, out there because the point of sending, <laughs> putting this footage out there is to say you can't condone shit like this. The same way I don't condone you telling people you, you think I'm a willing participant in something so fucking I, vile, Matt. I was asking something questions. So okay, fine. Fucking vile. I apologize for that because that wasn't my There's intent. no apology for that, Matt. That's it. That's it. That's, that's fine. It. There's no apology for that. That's There's fine. no apology for that. There's no, that's it. That's it. I think as little of you as I do any other person now. That's fine. I'm totally, I'm, I'm totally okay with that because I'm not going to sit there and feel bad for asking questions about something that I don't have the full information. How about on. you ask me? How about you ask me? We're friends. You, you asked me where I shot the gun. Why didn't you ask me if it was fake? I would have told you the truth. Why do you think I have zero fucking integrity? Why do you think I have zero? I don't think integrity? you have zero integrity. Then why the Boogie. fuck didn't you ask me? Boogie, why are you sitting here? Why are you sitting here on YouTube live in front of a hundred people telling them that I'm a willing to participate in something so fucking vile? I was asking questions because things about this don't seem right. Well, to let me. me ask some more questions. Does your wife peg you? No. Do you fuck your children? No. Well, I just asking the questions whether or not you go to town on your fucking children every night. I'm sowing reasonable fucking doubt. Oh, see, I get what you're trying well, based to based on my training. You fuck your children based on my experiences. You fuck your children. That's see, this, horrible, Matt. That's horrible, uh, Matt. That's no, horrible. I, I get it. I get it. Boogie. I get it. All right. I understand it. I'm not out here trying to say you did anything. Would I'm you asked, rather I have asked you in private whether or not you fucked your children before I said that on live stream? No, I'd prefer you actually ask it in a public forum because then cool. it, it, it just, I'm fine with that because guess what? The people that you, you know, that you sent that footage to earlier, they were out there last week trying to propagate me being a pedo. So like, um, you know what? Like they do that shit regardless. Okay. Andy, Ralph, all those guys, they fucking, they do that shit all, all the goddamn time. They try to run their mouth, try to say that I'm a pedo, try to get fucking CPS on me and shit for my kids. Okay. Well, so, I'm sorry that happened. So, you. you know, like, well, I'm that's sorry a, that happens to you. Note. I have I'm never note that I have never said in a public forum <coughs> that I think you're probably high lying about that. And you're actually fucking your kids. <laughs> okay. Take a drink of water, dude. Take a drink of water. <laughs> and I never would. I never I, would. I wouldn't. I think never would even think for a second. You're fucking your children. I wouldn't think you would either. When oh, I, when I, I talk, fake, about, when I think, talk about you this, think that I, you would think that, the 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 the, the, the that, I, that i'm lying about what happened today and i somehow got the cops to lie for me too no no one would lie about it but it becomes this it becomes the the the, the difference between maybe a felony and a misdemeanor okay so when i when i look at these situations as a whole i ask i always ask myself what is the best for business that's how i always look at things that's how is I, being on your live stream for best for my business do you think or do you think me asking know. you if you do you think what i'm doing right now is best for my business do you think i give a fuck about my no. business i give a fuck about my life matt i understand I give a that. fuck about my life and i wanted to stop you from fucking continuing to destroy it i'm not gonna continue i don't no give gonna... a fuck about my business listen to me matt i don't give a fuck about my business you think i want to be on youtube anymore you think i want to be a content creator more anymore after someone came to my fucking house and put me and my dog and my friend and my neighbors and a random fucking air conditioning guy's life in fucking jeopardy? You think I want to do this fucking job another fucking day? No, I fucking don't. I have money saved. No, I know. Hold what am I hearing? Phone call. Okay. I don't. <laughs> All right. So I'm looking at the chat right now. Let me just say, I don't think that Boogie is a willing, is a, was a willing participant, but I still have questions, not for him specifically, but I'll never get answers to. And that's my whole point. Looking at the data as it's presented, as what we have, I appreciate Boogie coming on and giving his take. I do. Even though he's mad at me and he'll probably never want to talk to me again, I'm fine with that. I'm, a, I'm happy that he's on here expressing himself. Oh, hey, that was a phone call from Daniel Keemstar. Okay? Cool. And he wanted to remind you that you are no fucking place to talk and accuse anybody of anything, Matt. Well, Daniel can come on here and tell me that himself if he has an issue. Oh, My I'm trying to figure out open. a way to patch him in right now. Don't you worry. He can. There's a link in the video description. Keemstar can come on in. I'm asking a question based upon what I have seen. 
And that's all I'm. Doing. I will. I will D him, and I will D him this this fucking link you gave me right now. That's fine. <coughs> I'm fine with that. So, so okay. So hands down, hundred percent. This whole thing was real. Yes, motherfucker. Okay. Now, okay. Good to know. And how fucking dare you, Matt? After everything I've done for you, after all the times I've backed you every step of the fucking way, to accuse me of willingly participate in something so vile. To think I would fake gun violence. To think I would fake someone coming to my door to attack me. How dare you? It's not that I was accusing you. After I just had the day I fucking had, after someone came to my door to threaten my life, after I had to hold a gun on somebody else to have to listen to one of my friends accuse me of being a willing participant in something so fucking vile, a person I've never said a single bad thing about I'm not a single fucking time. My goal is to ask questions, Matt. It's and fucking I am sorry. I am sorry. No, if you're that, not. Yes, I am. I am sorry. Bullshit. No, I am. I am. I am. Because I do know what it's like to have people make shit up about me and say shit, right? I was swatted <coughs> and people think I made it up. People think I made it up. People who know me in real life because of people on the internet think I made it up. I look at that as being attempted fucking murder. But people say that I made it up. All right, I get it. My whole point of asking. So is maybe, some- maybe out of all the fucking people that should have asked me first, it was you. Maybe out of all the fucking people in the world, before you started lying through your fucking teeth about me, I'm not lying through my teeth. I'm asking a question. I'm being disproven. Thank you. I can have questions about things. Asking questions. Ask the questions like a proper fucking journalist to the fucking source next time. Okay. If you're going to pretend to be a journalist, if you're going to cash the fucking checks. Dude, I think I've got like two super chats on this. I don't even care about this. Well, whatever. I don't even care. I have. Hey, guess what? Daniel's here. Patch him in. Oh, shit, I didn't see people in the bottom there. Yeah, he's here. I also need to reconnect. I've lost sound. I'll be right back. All right. Team Star, long time. Hello. Thank you for having me on the show. Sure. It's open call in. So apparently I'm wrong from what I've been told. Yeah, I just kind of want to jump to to all of it, right? You okay. got You got these uh, online so-called news people that don't do any work, all right? Sure. Quarterly's uh, the quartering's one of them, right? He just rushes to upload a video. He's like mm-hmm. looking at tweets in real time. He's not doing anything journalistic sure. like, at all, right? He's mm-hmm. not contacting Boogie. He's not contacting Frank. He's not doing anything, right? He's not trying to get the information. When I run Drama Alert, I try to talk to the people involved to try to get as much information as possible, right? You guys don't do that. You guys, you know, claim to be news people and you're just taking your news no, from other sources. I'm not. I actually am not claiming to be news on anything anymore with this one. I actually spent the last two hours reading through tweets and looking at information, watching videos, getting see if there's any other alternative sources I could find. And then trying to actually ask myself some hard questions about whether or not what I'm seeing is real or not. And then I look at the players that are involved and I have to ask myself again, yeah, okay, is this nice. what I'm seeing? But anyhow, here's another problem, right? Okay. I come to the stream, someone links me, Nicholas Diorio or Augie or one of them hit sure. me up and they're like, hey, this is going on. Boogie's going off on uh, going off on uh, Boulder Boy here. So I'm leaving a comment in your stream and I'm immediately putting a timeout by your no. safe spot, your safe spot, fucking moderators. I, didn't, I don't know. I wasn't. Warning. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. No, but what I'm saying is now you now you have this stream where. You can say all these weird, wild allegations with no journalistic research whatsoever, right? And then when someone tries to correct you, which is me in your chat, I'm being put in a timeout by your moderators. I, well, I apologize for that. I didn't see it. I recently cleared my entire block list as well as any other fucking hidden word in order to make sure that the problems like this didn't arise. There's also an open link. Anyone can come on in. And so I have an open link. 
So I do well, want to make it as transparent as possible. If you believe in a, in a free press, right, and freedom of speech <laughs> well, and everything else. So, okay, fine. So I, I, I will go back through and I will look to see which moderator did it, and I'll give him a stern talking to. Because otherwise, I, can't, I wasn't looking at the screen. I didn't see it. And then, and then uh, another thing, so another that, thing. Okay. you want to call Boogie out for doing fake stuff, which is ridiculous because obviously there's police reports and everything else. I don't even know why the quarterly you or anyone else would be like, oh, this is fake without just, just do a little research, right? Honestly, like, honestly, Keem, if I'll just, I'll just cut you off right there on that one. I'll tell you exactly why I was questioning your involvement in this. And that's because of Basher and that whole story. That's the whole reason why I questioned it, because the whole thing to me comes oh, across as... the whole as... thing with Basher was real. You're talking about an interview that we had to refilm because cameras weren't recording. Oh, well. You know, no, there's been a lot of other stuff with that, too, and there's been a lot of other coverage of that. I think Gamer from Mars did a pretty good breakdown of it a while back, and I've seen yeah, other people did. do that as well. The whole yeah. point, though, is that when it he comes did. to internet, when it comes to drama, you're the best at what you do, Kim. You are. You're the best at what you do. Somebody firing a shot, and now you're kissing my ass, which is ridiculous. I'm not kissing your ass. I'm No, no, my, I'm not kissing your ass, Kim, because here's the thing. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't respect you. Oh, I, don't I know give you don't one like eye me. of a fuck about you. I haven't I talked you to you like in me. two years. That's I have you, you blocked on Twitter for a good reason. That I swatted you. you I lied didn't actually. Oh no, no. We can go back and you look at this one here because guess police. what? Guess what I said to the cops? The police. I never I said that. You I never said that. This. I never said that. I never said that. Came. Something happened to you, right? Like you and Boogie are both the same in the sense that you were bullied when you were younger, right? Okay, please psychoanalyze me. I look forward to this one. Boogie has tried his hardest just to be like the nice guy. I just want to get along with everyone. I don't want to feud with yeah. anyone. You sit in the background of people that pick on you or that argue with you. You sit in the background and you plot to destroy them in secret. No. And we saw it when your flag history got exposed. You Matt. saw me flag 13 videos over the span of four months. Exactly, because you sat in the shadow. Yeah, and I fucked up and it. I shouldn't have done it. And I guess and what? It's been the same ever since. I haven't done it. And, and here's another thing. Here's and you've accused, thing. oh no, but you've accused me, you've accused me of using an alt to get shit taken down, which I haven't done. Me because guess and what? You got into a fight on Twitter. Yes, we and did. You got swatted. And I did. And to get back at Keemstar, you told the fucking cops that I swatted you. Can I tell I you the exact it. line I said to the cops? Because the cops asked me, like, what do you do? And I said, I work on the internet. They said, okay, did you get any fights today with anyone on the internet? I said, I did. I got into a fight with a guy named Keemstar, and that was it. Yeah, and they asked okay. me, then they, hold on, then they asked me, yeah, hold on, then they, hold on, I, I said, like, because I was asked, I was asked, can I, can I finish my statement, or are you going to continue to talk over me? No, I'm because, just saying that you, you, your statement's out there. You no, my statement, yeah, because, yeah, and guess what, it's in a police report, and then that police report then went to a detective who works on an FBI task force, he called me up, and he was like, hey, so what's up with this Keemstar guy, and I said, you know what, I know we got into a fight that day, I don't think he had anything to do with it. <laughs> yeah, right, you didn't say that. I did, you, that, I okay. did. You mean to tell me you tell the you tell the cops? Uh, yeah, I don't. I we did get in a fight, but he. Had, I don't think he had a no involvement. And then the FBI shows up at my door. Are you? I had no idea of any of that. I haven't had any conversation. Are you serious, I am serious. Do you I think yes. Anyone here believes that you told the cop? Yeah, I don't think Keemstar did it, which would cause the fucking FBI to come knocking at my door. Here's the thing with that, Keem. I don't know what they know. I haven't no heard the recording. You. I have no not. It's been over four. I don't give a fuck if anyone believes me. I know what I went through and I know what I said. You can believe whatever the fuck it is you want. You clearly do. And, you and nothing what? I say is going to fucking change thing, that shit. And another thing that really bothers me, Matt, is sure. when the whole internet was dunking on you. Uh -huh. You know who was sticking up for you? Fucking Boogie. And Boogie took a lot of shit for sticking up for you and being a friend to you. And you're over here calling him out left and right. No, I didn't so call him out left and right. I simply posed the question based upon the information that I saw. And I was yeah. running through it and I was talking about it. And that's all it was. Now, I haven't well, come to any conclusion. I, I haven't come to any another decision. question that involves a rope with a loop at the end. Oh, OK. Is that what you're doing for the holidays? You're going to have a little bit of fun there yourself. A little bit of like what's a, uh, the noest, what's like the in excess guy. That's it. A little autoerotic asphyxiation. Is that your kink? Daniel, that ain't mine, dude. Look, dude, I got nothing that uh, I really want to talk with you about specifically. Like you came on, you spoke your piece. I appreciate that. I don't care about you. I don't I don't care about you one fucking bit. I think you're a lecherous person on society. The, the further you're away from it, the better we all are, quite frankly. And you know what? You can hate me all you want. You can think about me at whatever you want, dude. That ain't going to change. It's been a couple fucking years. Let it go. Oh, and he bailed. I didn't see that he bailed.
Okay. Well, Matt one Keemstar. Well, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you a little bit of etiquette today. Okay. And then I'm done with you. Okay. okay. You asked me to come on your show, remember earlier mm -hmm. today? And I told you I was having a pretty stressful fucking day. Yeah. And between that moment and when you asked me to come back on later tonight, could you, do you think, have reached out to me and asked me if this was real? Could you have done that, you think? Was that well, a possibility? I saw, I saw your tweet about it. Was it a possibility? It was, was a possibility, Was it a possibility yeah. to ask me? Yeah. Do you think you might have should have? Uh, I think I, if I would have asked you, I probably would still have the same questions in my, in my, in my own head about it. Because cool. Just... Then you think very little of me. No, Matt. it's not that I think nope, little Matt, of you. Matt, oh, Matt, if you even think for a fucking second that I would willingly participate in something like this, you must think I'm scum of the fucking earth. I don't think you're scum of the earth. I don't. No, you must. Cause otherwise you would have never even goddamn considered it, Matt. I don't think you're scum of the earth boogie. I don't. I like you quite a bit. I watch a lot of your well, videos. I think, I, I, think I, think now, I like you quite Matt, a bit. I I Matt, I'm gonna make it very clear. I do think you are scum of the earth now. That's fine. You can okay? make that of me. That's I do fine. not want you watching my videos anymore. Okay. I don't want you to have anything to do with me. That's Matt, fine. Block because me on you're Twitter, here please. accusing me. No, I'm not you're accusing. You're accusing me I of willingly of participating in something so vile. And I get it. I made my mistakes. You know, I got swatted four times last year, and instead of saying that it happened in October and July and in June, I said it happened in December. I know. I fucked up. I didn't know about that at all, actually. I know. I fucked I'm up. I'm sorry I've that given, happened to you I've last given year. people. I've given people a reason to not trust me. I understand that. Okay? But I, w I, I cannot imagine someone so vile as to willingly participate in something like this. Not McJuggernuggets, not Kid Behind the Camera, not Keemstar, not a single fucking person. <laughs> but Keemstar. especially me. Especially me. I get that you can cast your dispersions on Keem. He's not a great person. I've told him that to his face. Okay? I get that you could cast your dispersions on McJuggernuggets because he's faked a lot of stuff. I get that you can point a finger at kid behind the camera because you don't like him or whatever fucking reason. I, I don't you have. I don't watch any of those. But people, you and I so. up until you and I up until about 30 minutes ago were friends. This and I wish you treated me like one. I wish you had treated me like one. Because like like Keemstar said, when the entire internet was dunking on you, I stood up for you. And for you to invite me to the stream and to tune in and to hear you saying that you think Boogie is lying about where he shot his weapon. You think Boogie is lying about shooting a weapon at all. No, where's I got the that. Footage? No, you said, where's the footage? Why, why, well, don't, I mean why haven't I seen the footage? I released more than I should have already. That's, I released well, more than what, I should have yeah, already. And that's what and that's what got me asking the questions is look, dude, did I approach this in the right way? No. I could have asked I should have asked you. I was asking questions. I look, I honestly thought like fucking like 20 people were gonna see this. I was just running through it in my head. Now we got over fucking I don't even know how many people are fucking here right now. I can't even tell. Uh, if I wanted to know what you ate for lunch today, what would be the best way to find out, Matt? Tweet it at me, probably. Ask Matt. The <laughs> best way talking... to know something. I, I know this. I know you didn't take any journalism classes, but let's pretend you did. Okay. One hundred and one. If you want to know an answer, ask them. That's pretty much the best way to find out an answer. If if you have a question, what did Boogie eat for lunch today? Ask Boogie. You have a direct line to me. We've spoken several times today. If you wanted to know if this is real, fucking ask me. We were friends. I wouldn't have lied to you. I haven't lied to anybody about this. A sociopath came to my house today after months of threatening to do so with the intent purpose of causing me harm. I defended myself. That's my fucking reality. If you'd asked me what my reality was, I would have fucking told you. Next time, if you have a friend, ask them. That's fine. I just have, I, I let me think here. I understand your point. I respect your position. But I, again, as I, as I pointed out, if you go back and listen, it's like I said, I don't want to believe any of this. I'm simply just asking these questions because there's so much here that's gone on. There's so much that's happened 
and looking and at I, the people involved. And that involved. is disingenuous. That is disingenuous. That's, it's not disingenuous, that is disingenuous though disingenuous. to ask questions. Yeah, no, it is disingenuous to say that you don't want this to be true because if you wanted the answer to these questions, you would have asked me. Well, what you wanted, what you wanted, was to sit here and wax poetic. No, because you what know, you wanted <laughs> was to entertain your audience and continue to sow the seeds of discord and sow the seeds of doubt. Dude, that's over what you on, wanted. Over, that's on, what you were over doing. on Ralph's if show, they were hoping answers, that it was. If you wanted answers, you would have asked me the question. Here's, here's the thing: they they played your video clip over on Ralph's show, and then Ralph I was like, "I, I it, hope I sent it hope, to him. I sent it to everybody who asked." I hope for that it. it's. I he's like, "I hope that it's fake," because that'd be the funniest shit ever. Well, so it's I'm not. not. The, I'm not the only Frank person. Frank is a sociopath. Okay, you can ask the fucking Fayetteville police. I'm sure you can I'm look sure at that. the Fayetteville plotter. It's there. All you had to do was literally anything and you would have seen the truth you could have asked me you could have checked the fate of a blotter you could have done literally anything and had the tiniest shred of dignity the tiniest shred of integrity and made any See, fucking effort and you would have found out here's the the, well no here's the here's the thing dude like i get it man i get it i get where you're coming from and i do sympathize and i do empathize and I'm sorry that you're upset. I should have phrased things better. And that is on me. That's my fault. But I'm not going to sit here and apologize for asking questions about the way something is presented and the facts no, of the case that you, I don't have the answer you, to. But can you apologize for A, not asking me? Fine. Yes. I B, apologize for not apologize asking you. for not checking the Fayetteville blotter. C, making any fucking effort whatsoever in any possible way. I actually way. did check the blotter and I saw that there was a response to a shooting. And all it says, all I could find was just that it was a response to a shooting. And that's what I found. So do you think the police lied about a shooting? No, but when a call log comes the, in, when a call log comes Fayetteville in. Police, do you think the Fayetteville police is in on it? No, dude, you, again, you're kind you of. Think, you're kind, you think that, that, you think that there was a fake gun fired and the police went, oh, that's not a real gun. When they me, saw the gun and they went, well, let's call it a shooting anyway. Let, hold on It was a just a cat. It was just a pellet gun, no. but let's call it a shooting. When they get a phone call or they get a call about a shooting or about an accident or whatever, they just write down the general idea of what it is. Now, I don't have a police report. I'm hoping that I can get my hands on one or I can see one. I'm not disbelieving you. I believe you. Okay. I believe you. But the truth is I'm going to ask questions because that's what I do. And I didn't ask you and that's my fault. And I apologize for that. But I still have aspersions uh, or my own very odd questions about just everything in general. I think you might have lost sound. If you did, like, let me know. I think I think I might have lost you, Boogie. So. Can you hear me now? I can hear. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Okay. Can we recap what you just said? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. No, the... I'm, no, I'm going to recap it for you because I heard okay. it. I ask questions. And I'm not going to apologize for asking questions. But I don't ask questions to the right people because I don't want them to know the answers. I just want to fucking ask questions. No, it's, I don't want I the answers. Know the I'm answers. not going to ask the source. I just like to sit here and jerk off. No, I like well, to sit there and jerk off. But... Please don't do it that way when it's my <laughs> life. Please okay, don't do it okay, that way when okay, it's my okay. fucking okay. life. Boogie, I apologize for not asking you. Okay, I do. I do apologize for not asking you directly. I should have. I did inquire with other people connected into this sphere about what they think. And most people think that it's real. But there's something that was bugging me in the back of my mind, and I come through these issues by talking them out. But I right. still should have gone to you and asked you first about that, right. about those specific aspects of it. Because Very on right. your end, fine, on your end, you you are saying empirically that everything happened the way that we saw it. Great. Now we know, and now I have an answer to that question, and I appreciate And you could that. have known that before you went live. You could have known that hours sure. ago. All you had to do is fucking ask. Sure. That's and very instead, well. And instead, you sat here and sowed the seed of doubts into another dozen minds, another two dozen minds. The boogie can't be trusted. That this is all fake. That this I is never, all lies. I never the said the boogie lowest can't. scummiest, p scummiest piece of shirt, shit on earth. This isn't real. Those this are all those are your this words. Those fake. are your words. Those are your words. Those are not my. No, words. those are their thoughts. When you sat here, those and said, are not their thoughts. This. I don't believe this. Do you think? Well, this. if people don't believe me because of what happened two years ago, then why would they believe me now? Right. If people think I lied two years ago, why would they believe me now? Those are all the questions. Those are all the things I have to deal with on a day to day basis. Like that's what Keemstar was trying to do by coming on in here. Man, I hate, man, I hate that. I, I feel like I'm talking down to you and I apologize. No. 
mean, Boogie. But I'm going to ask you if you've ever heard of a thing called confirmation bias. I have heard of a thing called confirmation bias, yes. Mm -hmm. So let's imagine someone believes you're a liar, okay? Okay. Then they're they're less likely to believe the things that you like that you say. Sure. But if they already think that I'm a liar, and you say that I'm a liar, like you did, that's when they're going to listen to you, man. Do you understand that? It's called so, confirmation. So what you're okay. So what you so so you're believe. mad at okay. So you're not mad at me necessarily for asking the questions that I've asked or how I phrase them. You're mad at me because people out there could potentially take what I asked and then push and then, and then no use man, that if you really want me to summarize why I'm mad at you is because you and I've talked several times then at any fucking point, you could ask me these questions, got a direct fucking answer, but instead you wanted to sit here and jerk off. You wanted to circle jerk because you didn't trust me because you didn't believe me because you thought I would willingly participate in something. So no, vile. no, so I don't... instead, instead, instead of asking me, instead of asking me, instead of, because I, why wouldn't you have asked me? The only, the only reasonable reason to not ask me is because you thought I would lie to you. That's the only reason. That's the only reason you wouldn't have asked me because you thought I would have lied to you. That's the only reason you wouldn't have asked me. And it's as plain as the nose on your fucking face. Okay. See, and I wouldn't the, have lied to you. I wouldn't have fucking lied to you. And I'm not lying to you now. That's okay. And, okay. and, and taking your passion on this. Okay. Again, I think you're telling the truth. I and, was all fucking day. Okay. No matter okay. how much you jerked off and pretended. I otherwise. didn't jerk off. and pretend. I was asking the questions. I was running through a multitude of scenarios. You came in for five minutes. You came in for five minutes. I was asking the questions. I was asking the questions, but just not to the source. I was asking I, I was asking questions about overall aspects of it. And there we go. Like, and I even put out a video earlier today that I was like, I don't know, man, this could be potentially this something about this feels off to me. And it could yeah, be real, I'm could sure not you be did. real. I'm sure you did. Because thank that's, you for doing because, me. Thank you for doing me that disservice instead of talking to me about it. Because thank you that for doing is me. Thank you for doing that, my dis thank you for doing that disservice for me. But thank you, you for making my life that much harder. Thank you so not, much. No one gives a fuck what I think. Yeah, no one do. gives a fuck what I think. Yeah, no one do. cares. Confirmation like, bias, Matt. No, they don't care what I think. Confirmation bias, Matt. Confirmation bias, Matt. No, I think you're trying to associate confirmation bias with this whole situation. No, and confirmation I bias. It. Listen, they will take it from anybody. They'll take it so from anybody. I've seen people, because they dislike me in my career, Matt, I've seen people completely flip on their own ethics. Yeah, just I because too. they didn't want to agree with me. And you've seen it too. I know you have. Yeah, I have. Okay. So yes, people are willing to set their beef down aside because Matt has proof Boogie lied. I don't have proof anyone lied. No one would ever take no, what but, I said. No, but that's and, how they'll take it, Matt. You, you I, understand. You, I would if know. anybody, Matt, you, if anybody, you, if anybody, and this is why it's so fucking heartbreaking because I hugged you at VidCon and told you I was sorry for what fucking happened to you. And I would have never thought that you'd be doing the same thing to me when I tuned in tonight. I genuinely didn't. But you, if anybody, know how these rumors circulate. You, if anybody, know how these lies circulate. You, if anybody, knows how much damage it can do to your mental health, to your career, to your psyche. You, if anybody, the last place, and this is why I'm upset, Matt. It's not that you're convincing people that I'm a bad person. It's not because of all of this other shit. It, it's because you could and should have done better because you could you had my contact information we talked several times today you could have done better and because of the history you have because of what you've been through because of how i defended you every step of the way you should and you didn't and you know why you didn't I do. I'd love to hear you say it. No, I get what you're trying to say. No, tell me why you didn't. Why I didn't talk to you? Yeah, why you didn't reach out to me and instead did this. I think there would be some part that's not... I think I had to talk through it myself to get to the point. Because it's been, again, two years of this stuff for me personally. A lot, a lot longer for you in many ways. And I don't like the way people treat you. And I think in my mind, I was hoping that you would not have been sucked into a situation that it would have been something like Basher. Because when I saw Keemstar and I saw that, I saw that interview and I see the way that the tape was edited together and the way everything was presented, all I could think back to Boogie 
was the, the, the whole basher story and how that fucking wrecked him and how that destroyed him. And the last thing I would ever want is for that to actually happen to you. And, and on a day, and uh, hold on, Matt, hold on. So let's use this against you. And on a day when a sociopath, a known sociopath who's harassed dozens of other people shows up in my front fucking door to try to get me to shoot him instead of empathizing with me the way you did Basher, you decided no. to see if I was a villain. And, and, no, and just I'm not ask the questions. Just ask the questions if Boogie's a villain. I don't this think you're known, a villain. I don't think you're a villain. This known sociopath, this known sociopath who has gone into a CrossFit place and harassed them till they beat the shit out of them, that's walked up to old couples in the park and threw racial slurs at them, who has gone into Magic the Gathering shops and ripped off his shirt and threw cards all around the place. This known sociopath came to my fucking door today and instead of empathizing with me, you had to ask the questions of whether or not Boogie's in cahoots with that sociopath. You think so little of me. It's not that. You think again, so you, little you of are, me that you look, thought I was working with him. You no, thought so little of me you thought I was working with him. And it's a here's the thing with that, though, man. It's like when you look at all the pieces and you maybe don't have elements of data, you start to kind of put together a uh, an idea, a speculation. Where could we have gotten that? Where we could, where could we have gotten those elements of data? Well, let me ask you, but let me, okay, fine. Let me ask you this then. Let me just play the hypothetical. Okay. Let's say you were, let's say I was right. Let's say I'm right. Okay. My, my initial thought that something was off and and I did ask you about it. Would you tell me the truth? Yes. I mean, if you were, if you were running an op, if I don't, come on, if you were running an op, I would never run an op. I would never run a fucking op. You dipshit. That's my point. That's but the, you may be so fucking low as to lie. You may be so fucking low as to run an op. You may be so fucking low as to do what you're accusing me of today, man. No, I and would I'm never, glad that you're. I'm glad that you're outing yourself that way. I'm glad. I would never do that for one thing. Bullshit. No, I never would. Then why are you? Then why? It's called transference, man. It's fucking classic. So, okay, fine. It's fine. basic psychology, Let, man. Well, no, let's. It's not basic psychology. You, you, in this we one. think you're, of no, others. And you are. Freudian 101, to... Matt, Freudian 101 <laughs> says we think of others in terms of ourselves, okay? okay? We assume that other people will do things related to what we would do, what our experiences are. Our perception of other people is tainted by our perception and our experiences. And because your perception and your experiences have led you to a point where you would have lied in this situation, you accused me of that. Well, okay, because the fine. only way that you would have ever thought I was so low is if you're so fucking low. No. That's fact. That's fucking that's, Freudian that's not... psychology 101. You, uh, well, for one, I disagree with your assertion. And I'll explain to you maybe why, okay, I thought the way that I thought. Because, you know, Boogie, YouTube's, YouTube's a tough business. It is. It's tough for me. It's tough for you. It's tough for everybody, okay? And the difference is, is that when I complain about it, I do. I bitch about it privately to people. I try to keep it off the main shit that I talk about because it's not something anyone wants to hear. I don't give a fuck if they, and that's what should have clued you the fuck in. Don't you think Matt that out of all things should have been what clued you the fuck in? Yeah. You give a shit about your YouTube career. You give a shit about your money. And you, you know don't, what I right? give a shit? Well, you know what I give a shit about? Dude, I don't my, make any money on no, here. No, listen to me, Matt. Well, please. Let me <laughs> I don't make any money I, on here anymore. Do you know what Are I give a shit me? about Matt? Do you know what I give a shit about Matt? Do you know what I give a shit about, Matt? Your dog? I give a shit about my fans. I give a shit about the the, the other creators on this platform. Yeah. Okay? That's what I, I give a shit about. Too. I've got my money. I've got money in the bank. i got more money than I could spend in the next 10 fucking years at my current lifestyle. I'm fucking set. I don't care if I get another sponsor. So then, if I do, I'll cash the okay, checks. Fine. So, okay, fine. Okay, so, cool. So, listen, so why do you so always bring me, it up then? To, why do you always bring it up? Why is it always a thing with you? Why is it always, oh, my channel sucks. My channel's dying. You don't want this content. You guys don't like me anymore. It's always there, Boogie. It is because, always Matt, there. Because you're such if a pussy. If you don't care, because, then Matt, why do you always pussy. bring it up? Because, Matt, you're such a pussy that you have to talk about it in private. I talk about it in public. No, I'll Because it helps, it helps other people, Matt. It helps other people. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. The reason I talk about my channel dying is because I want people to know 
how I'm handling my channel dying. When I talk about not being able to make money off the platform anymore, I want them to know how I'm handling not making any money on the platform. The same way I talked about my mental health when I got a divorce. The same way I talked about my mental health when I got a surgery. The same way I talked about my mental health when I was suicidal. The same way I talked about my mental health 14 years ago and I was stuck in my house because I was 600 pounds, Matt. That's what I do. Did you did you do, not notice you ever, across but, the last... But okay, fine, fine. Let's, years that that's what I do. Fine, let's talk about that for a second, then. Okay, let's 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 look at that then from an outside perspective because that's the only perspective I can really give. Right, here. but what I'm saying is, but, but if get, you bring let, it up, hold on, let me get your point, point out. Get your point out. Get your point out. Get your point out. Okay, my point is, it's pretty goddamn clear what my priorities are if you're paying any attention. I'm not here to rebuild my fucking brand by fooling everyone. Nor would that have worked, you dipshit. This wouldn't have worked if I, I, there's no way anybody could have pulled this off if this was fake. Are you fucking insane? There's no fucking way. And even if someone could, even if McJuggernuggets or or fucking uh, the, who's that guy who who was faked his girlfriend's death, right? Oh, uh, J Station. J Station. Station. Even yeah. if J Station tried to prank something, uh, fake something like this, even he wouldn't have done it. And he's an expert. So knowing that everyone on the fucking planet already thinks I'm a liar, why the fuck did you think I would even consider doing something like this? Okay, but even beyond that, even beyond all basic logic and reason, it's against my brand. My brand isn't about making money. It's never been about making money. It's never been about a lifestyle. It's never about fucking spending millions of dollars on fucking big houses and crazy shit. It's been about how I survived my child abuse, how I've survived my sexual abuse, how I've survived having a broken brain. And I talk about how my YouTube channel in my career affects my broken brain. I talk about how the world hating me affects my broken brain because a lot of my fans, and I'll, I'll name five or six right off the top of my head, every time I talk about it, it helps them. And that's why I shared the footage that I shared today, Matt, because uh, uh, I reached uh, Drifter and I talked today. Drifter had somebody come to his house with a loaded gun and Drifter buried it. Dr Scarce barely was able to cover it, but Scarce did. But Drifter buried as much of it as he could. I went the opposite direction. I put as much of it out there in the world to help our community, to discourage people like this from doing these things. That's what I do. Do you, I'm here do you not to think... help creators like you. I'm here to help fans continue to have the creators they love. I'm here to help my fans understand their own minds and their own bodies and to learn from my mistakes. That's what I fucking do. So to accuse me of faking something like this to make money is a really big insult. And that's a fair point to make. And that wasn't my intent. Again, but that's what you just said. When I started, because no, well, when you right. talk about when you talk about everything that you go through, so I look at what you say from a creator perspective. All right, if a person with nearly five million subs is struggling as bad as you make it out to be, well, that you're I'm, struggling. No, I'm, all... I'm, I'm closer to four million now. I've been oh, okay. moving backwards for the okay. last three years. <laughs> well, shit, dude, join the club. Fucking, uh, but okay, doesn't matter. I've hey, got well, maybe, maybe <laughs> I, I got it. I got it. I got a question, Matt. You think falsely accusing your friends of faking um, a, a shooting incident might be one of the reasons you're moving in the wrong direction? I don't know. No, just it's, think about it, it. it's been a lot it's of not, other just reasons. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. It's, maybe it's been a lot of other reasons. That. I'm not accusing you of maybe, anything. Maybe, don't, maybe we don't do stuff like that anymore. Maybe that's maybe that's the thing we don't do anymore. Or double down and get keep keep crashing it faster. I mean, either way, I don't know yet. I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. It's kind of a work in progress. The whole point I'm trying to get through here, Boogie is that I understand your disdain with me. I understand your disappointment with myself and you have a very valid point. I should have asked you, but there are questions that I have based upon the other players because of what I know about the other players. Okay. So but I, here's here, but here's so the do you, but hold on, hold here's on, hold the on. Linchpin. Here's the lynch. Okay. Give me your Matt, linchpin. Do you think I'm a complete and worthless piece of shit or not? No, I don't so think how that. How in the fucking fuck could you possibly imagine I would willingly, but do I think that people make bad decisions when they're in bad places? Yes, I I'm do. not in a bad place. I just told you I got a quarter million dollars in the bank because well, you I make just every, told you. Cool. I don't ask you your fucking bank account when we talk and when I watch your videos and that's the, if, per, look, if you did ask, I would have told you that I, I, I would, 
Come on. Come Once on. again, if you had there. come to me today and asked these questions, I would have told you the answer to all and of just, them. Okay. I just find it to be interesting that when it comes to the persona of Boogie, this is the real you. And, and this the is YouTube channel is the real me. I'm not doing anything the, fucking different. The, no, and my live you, you, stream version is me. I'm not doing anything it's different. The you, Matt. No, it's the you you want to be. You and live streams. No, it's not. I, I yes, dropped it is. that two years ago. I dropped that two years ago. You don't, no, you don't make the, the big black cock meat jokes anymore, right? Like, you well, don't, I appreciate that. Thank you. you know I didn't I mean, know like, that you ever did. If we were, we wouldn't have been friends. No, I know. I don't make those jokes. But I mean, those jokes when I've made very terrible jokes, by the way, uh, that about are in the me? same. No, not about you. Not about you. Just I've said very stupid things in general my entire life. It's one of my curses. But it's like you, the way I see it. Okay. And this is just based upon my viewing from the outside uh, world of it is there's like, and this happens a lot with people. There is the you, and then there's the YouTube you and the you is what you get in natural settings like this or VidCon when it's more jokey and it's hanging out and it's everything else. When you think that you're not on display when you're not performing. And then there's the you that's in your videos, the you that people see. And it is, and I have purposely because I have been accused because I've been accused of being fake on YouTube, I have purposely, purposely been as true on YouTube as humanly possible. And I've been as true as humanly possible in live streams, as true as I'm being with you right now. That I, I've literally spent the last two years doing everything I can to make sure every motion, every word is calculated and correct and true to who I am. But see, but if you're trying to make it calculated and correct, then it's manufactured because you are aware of it. It, it takes you away from actually being you because you're, you're, you are putting so much pressure on yourself to be a certain way. And that's what got me two years ago, dude. That's what fucked me up is I took myself so goddamn fucking seriously that I took any little fucking negative criticism and I let it fucking fester in me. Let me and, ask you something, Matt. Let me ask you something. Okay. Man. You, all I'm saying is I think before I speak. Sure. That's I all sometimes I'm don't. <laughs> Do you not think before you speak? I'm saying uh, prior to two years ago, I never thought before I spoke. I just spoke. Prior to and then two people, years. Okay. People began to point out differences. Well, on YouTube, when I was making a YouTube video, I would think before I would speak. And I, w I, I, I would say, I can't swear on YouTube. I have to keep in, in mind the laws and rules of YouTube. So I'm going to follow the rules. And I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to attack anybody. I'm going to be the kindest me that I can be. And that's how I made my YouTube channel for the longest time. And then two years ago, people are like, wow, you're inauthentic. This isn't the real you. The, the version of you that's on your YouTube, uh, on your Twitch stream, where you say fucking pussy and shit and everything else, every other word, that's the real you. The problem was the Twitch version of me, that was the act. I'm an introvert in real life. I was pretending to be an extrovert. No, when I, I, I live stream. I, when I live stream, it's a show. That was the fake act. That was me being edgy. That was me being co uh, comedic. My, my contact at Twitch, that's what he talked about. He's like, you know, people, it, live streaming is very different from YouTube video. And I was watching creators like Andy Milanakis and Ice Poseidon and, 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 and uh, uh, the fucking guy that got banned from there, uh, Dr. Disrespect. And they were edgy and they were funny and they made, uh, had personality. So I thought, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be edgy. I'm going to be funny. It's going to be my Twitch personality. I started watching Andy Mellon, uh, not Andy Milanakis, Andy Kaufman videos. And I started watching everything he did. And I thought to myself, I, thought, I could do that. I could sing songs no one wants to hear badly. I can say fucking swear words and make edgy jokes. But now when I live stream, now when I make a YouTube video, now I make sure that everything has a homogenous feeling and it's as close to who I really am as humanly possible. I think before I speak, I don't pretend to be edgy. I don't pretend to, 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 to be that person. I just... I just be me. So I, I don't know what point you're making, but I want you to make it, make it very clear for the last two years. I've done everything I can to just be me since that subreddit decided to use it as proof that I was a liar or something. Yeah. That's sub. I, I did see that subreddit occasionally. I, I was never quite too sure why they hated you as much as they do. But then again, there are people out there who vehemently hate me and I still can't figure out why they don't like me. Well, I mean, there's reasons, but like, you know, the deeper shit look, dude, I get what you're trying to say, okay? I I just think personally, after two years of what I've gone through, that I might be on the other end of the spectrum than you, right? At this point, not giving a fuck is better than giving a fuck. 
because where we are, we're never going to go back to 2016. We're never going to go back to that fucking world. We're never going to be there again. It's been fun. This platform has been fundamentally cucked for almost four years now because they turned the media, whoever else, they turned their sights on us and they all fucked us over. And that is the truth of the matter. And so if you want to go and you want to homogenize yourself for your audience, that's cool. Dude, you've been able to grow. I think when I first started watching you, I, I think you had over a million subs and now you got the 4 million and that's fucking awesome. You have a house. It's a nice house from what I can see. You know, you live the life you want to live and that's cool. I don't want to think negatively of you and I didn't think negatively of you. I had questions that were leading down paths that I was hoping to get to some kind of Occam's razor conclusion to and go, this is the false path. Because when I look at the situation, and again, this is what I've been trying to say the whole time, is it's possible, and again, based upon what Keem said, and he's alluding that it's not, but is it possible that you were played? Is it possible that you were, you know, because if you know anything about Million Dollar Extreme and how they operate, you can see what they do and how they do it. And that was my and whole so, point. And so if you'd had a conversation with me earlier today, you would realize that I was the one that reached out to Keemstar because he's the only one I know who has mutuals in common with, uh, that's not fucking Ethan Ralph, who I don't want to talk to right now. I haven't wanted to talk to since I've been on a show. But you still gave him the footage to play. And, Absolutely. And it's, Absolutely. I mean, if, if hey, you don't hey, want to give hey, him an exclusive, hey, then. <laughs> hey, it's not an exclusive. I gave the same footage to Keemstar. Was on story. I know. I, he was, was, he was, four hours he was not a bragging exclusive. that it was an exclusive. He was trying to play it up and shit. Uh, no, it's not. I gave it to him because I'm pushing. I gave it to DeFranco. I gave it to Keemstar. I gave it to everyone who wants it because we need to make an example of this. You So you want to make an example of him? Like no, wholeheartedly or just you, you just like you, his... you want me to say some shit that I, well, that's going to ruin my career right now because i will no i no, a, here's, no here's, hold on here's hold thing. on i'm gonna no, level, level with you i'm gonna level with you 110 percent. i'm gonna level with you don't say it don't say it do it privately no, if you to. have to do it privately if you to. have to i no I, I want the world to hear this motherfucker okay but this is going to end me but this is bigger than me stop saying that no don't this is going to end me but this is bigger than me Okay, but this is me giving up. Okay, don't, so you want an exclusive? Here's I don't care about that shit, dude. No, Fine. here you go. You want an exclusive? Here's your exclusive. Okay, you're jealous that oh, I gave a, a, a exclusive to Ethan. Well, here's the reality of what just really happened. Okay, you, okay. you there? I'm here. I'm listening. A year ago, I was ready to kill myself to try to change this platform because of this type of harassment that showed up at my front door today. Because Reddit didn't give a fuck. Because Keemstar didn't give a fuck. Because no one gave a fuck about Etika. No, I mean, people talked about it, but nothing changed. YouTube didn't change. Uh, Keemstar didn't change. 4chan didn't change. Reddit didn't change. Nothing changed. Commentary community just ate it up and profited off of Etika's fucking death. And I was ready to fucking go. I was ready to put a bullet in my head Actually, I was going to take pills, but I was ready to fucking end my life in the hopes that it would make a fucking difference. Because as bad as it was that Attica died, he wasn't as big of a creator. I had more subscribers, I had more views, and I've been on the platform longer. And so I thought I could signal boost Attica. And these are the thoughts I had. And I went to VidCon and I talked to everyone about it. Everyone that would listen. I talked to Ian. I talked to SoCal Jesus Christ, McJuggernuggets kid behind the camera is there a way for me to signal boost this is there a way for me to achieve this but not have to die can you help me figure out how to do this and not have to die and nobody had an answer nobody had an answer for me matt they all said you just have to accept that this is how it is you just have to ignore it and the more i talked about it without dying the more people believed i was lying and that's why I find it so fucking hurtful that you thought I was lying today. Because I thought with this happening, with the cops involved, with the fucking footage, there's no way people would think I was lying. And it's so fucking hurtful. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I made the decision to live. And almost every day since I made that decision, I've woke up with fucking regret. I've watched more fans 
turn against me. I've watched more people begin to believe I was a pedophile, more people to begin I believe I abused my ex-wife, more people began to believe I was a womanizer, more people to begin to believe that I was some sort of secret monster that lied about his health issues, that lied about his mental health issues, that lied about his molestation, that lied about his child abuse day in and day out. And then today, this sociopath, this sick motherfucker showed up at my front door and I literally had the thought, this is why I'm still alive, to fucking put this message out there about mental health issues, to put this message out there about bullying, to put this message out there about how the world is changing, to protect creators like you, to protect creators like me, to see if we could change the fucking world. And I... As, as hard as today was, as scary as today was, I thought to myself, this is my fucking purpose. This is why I'm still fucking here. This is what I can do with the rest of my life. This is how I make a fucking difference. This is how I don't have to feel guilty about the money I made. This is how I don't have to feel guilty about the choice to stay alive. This is how I don't have to feel guilty for all the fans who've been hurt by my choice to stay alive. And I had to listen to several different people today ask me if this was real. The quartering messaged me early on, but he at least had enough respect to ask me if it was real. You did not. I had a small creator I know from my Discord named Jack the Ripper ask me if it was real. He did. You did not. I had several other people ask me today if this was real. But you did not. And it was a hard fucking day. Hard fucking day having to listen to people accuse me of lying and knowing that it's entirely possible that that's how the Internet's going to spin it. That somehow I made this up. Somehow it's all just a prank. Somehow it's all just a chance to revitalize my career. And that's why I didn't want to do any fucking podcasts tonight. That's why I didn't want to do any fucking shows tonight. That's why I told Ethan to go fuck himself. But you sent me the link, and I thought we were friends, and I thought, hey, here's someone who will have my fucking back. And I logged in, and you were doing the one goddamn thing that has hurt me the most today. Hurt me more than having a sociopath come to my door, more than having to make the decision whether or not to end somebody's life. It hurts me more that people think I'm lying about this. It hurts me more that people think it's fake. And I had no possible belief that you would be one of those people doing that. Do you understand why that's hurtful? No, I, I completely understand. I do. And all you had to do was have the same journalistic integrity of the quartering. Ouch. Yeah. That's, that's cold blooded, dude. That, that yeah. cuts me deep. That cuts me deep. I mean, all really? you had to do Jeremy. Oof. I mean, like I could make 8,000 Brie Larson videos and, and just make up all sorts of shit. But, I was he, just... <laughs> but I had a phone call with him today and you could have done the same thing, Matt. So I'm going to, I'm going to go. I, I appreciate your apology. I'm going to go live my life tonight. I haven't showered this entire day. I've sweated buckets. I've had a miserable fucking day. I'm just asking you, please stop putting. I think we lost him for a second, but uh, I get what you're trying to say, man. Listen, uh, he might cut back in. All right. <laughs> Fucking stream yard, man. It craps out sometimes. Uh, so, okay. I'm just wait, giving him a second here. Uh, Kraut, stop <laughs> timing people out. What are you doing? What are you doing, Kraut? <laughs> 